हेलो हाई गाइज गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू वीडियो एंड फॉर श्योर इफ यू हैव सॉल्व और इफ यू हैव वॉच आर लाइव कॉन्टेस्ट स्ट्रीम विच वी डू एवरी वीक इफ यू हैव वॉच इट फॉर द पास वन मंथ देन फॉर श्योर ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन बाई ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू शुड बी एबल टू इट बिकॉज आई हैव टोल्ड दिस एक्जैक्ट सेम क्वेश्चन लाइक काइंड ऑफ सेम क्वेश्चन इन द लाइव स्ट्रीम फॉर श्योर do it try it by yourself but now all these other problems are there asteroid collision it's a very very standard problems like collision kind of problems are kind of standard they just have three four variants two variants we have already told in our live streams it is same one such one of the one of those two variants which we are seeing right now cool um we are having an array of asteroids of integers representing uh, representing uh, asteroids in a row uh, for each asteroids the absolute value represents its size and the sign so basically we have an uh, array of asteroids right so every asteroid has some value let's say minus 40 or 40 um or let's say 15 so 15 will represent the size 40 will represent the size and minus will represent the direction minus will say left and plus will say right cool now uh find out the states of the asteroid after all the collision which means asteroids are just moving it is just the moving states now we have to tell after all the after all the collisions are done and see the collision will happen between two asteroids so two if two asteroids meet and for sure when these two will meet then only the collision will happen so when the two asteroids will meet for sure the smaller one will explode and if both of are of same size then both will explode cool now just that okay uh, we have to know the state after all the collisions which means after my all asteroids meet with each other so for sure what i i know is ultimately if the asteroids will collide then for sure they have to meet if they have to meet then for sure some condition will be there so i will just see okay what all asteroids will not meet and what all asteroids will meet cool uh, so if two asteroids meet what i will do is i will make all the cases of when the two asteroids can meet for sure the examples can help you but yeah we quickly jump on to the logic because we know we have to just make the two asteroids meet and ultimately if 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 some asteroids it remains ultimately after even after meeting that for sure it will be in my final answer after collisions and if it just gets finished then for sure it won't be in our answer after collision now what i can do is i can start off very easily so in the starting itself i have let's say any asteroids moving right or moving left if some asteroid is moving left then for sure it will keep on moving left and no way it it will going to be collide and ever with anyone because for sure it's it's moving left 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 right so in the starting in the starting of uh, and for sure now you will say okay are in a starting when i know that i have to take this so in what data structure shall i take i know i have to return a vector but shall i take a vector or for doing the operations so one thing you know for sure that as you are pushing an element so as you have this asteroid as array every every time you encounter an element so basically you will be pushing this element in a data structure for the, for example this element when you will get the you know okay it's never gonna have a collision so for sure you will push this element in some data structure what that data structure can be we have to see and also when we know when someone who is coming left and for sure in between let's say someone was coming right so we know one thing also for sure that we need to pop one of these because it is right it is left so one will pop out so for sure we know that a few elements will push in a few elements will pop out so maybe at the run time itself i should be able to push and pop the elements who are remaining let's say for the, for example three is equal right if this if this if this was big and this was small so for sure it it, it will collide and for sure it will remain so for sure uh one needs to pop so by this itself i can know maybe i can use a stack or something like that okay from the end i can remove an element i can push an element from the end it can be the stack either it can be a dq either it can be a vector or any data structure you want let's take it as a stack itself and for sure if it was the first time of you solving it that season i told you about the intuition of stack but going forward please have at the back of your mind saying that the collision problems can either be straight forward or via stack stack is 90% of the times used in collision kind of problems cool now coming back to the first case if it is at the very starting and if it is moving left it will keep on moving left so for sure we don't need to do anything if it is empty and if it is a negative then just push that in the 
push that in push that element and when this is it is the asteroid of i push that in your stack but if it is positive and for sure if it is moving in the starting now you will say aryan if it is positive then for sure it can have a collision yeah it can have but provided if later point of time someone is coming left right now it can't have collision by just a straightforward saying it can't have collision so for sure i will just assume that whosoever is moving right will not have collision but whosoever will move left later on will actually can impact collision so for these moving right i will just say okay uh it won't cause collision so for sure if it is empty so now we saw if it is empty either if it is a positive or negative just push that in your stack okay one case done now other case for us was to no okay if it was moving just right now for sure if it is moving right we know it won't cause collision because it is moving right so for sure if it is positive then please push that in the stack itself it was in the starting when it is empty so we know we can push both of them either positive or negative but yeah we also saw okay if it is positive even and we know the positive ones won't cause cause collision because we ultimately thought the negative ones on positive will cause collision so we just assumed okay because one will cause collision on the other so here we assume the positive ones will not cause collision and the negative ones coming forward will cause collision you can also do vice versa and make your cases a bit modification by that but yeah simple now ultimately what will happen is maybe the negative one come now you know one thing we took one case starting case we took okay it is positive we took okay now it is negative if it is a negative it can cause collision but 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 let's say if it, it is negative which was coming in left right it has some value if the value is big which means the, the the one which is coming in left is big the one which was actually in the left so the one which is coming left it is this element it is big the one which we have already in the left it is small then for sure big one will collide with the smaller one and the smaller one will get removed and you know everything which means everything which is in the left is actually in the stack itself already so for sure as the big one is coming in it he knows that he will collide with the smaller one and smaller one is, is, gonna, is gonna finish so what will happen is i will just say okay if my stack dot top which means anything which is in the stack itself it, if it is positive which means it is moving right and also if it is less which is smaller in size then for sure it's gonna be removed so i just simply remove it but this process will keep on going until i have smaller elements and also the elements moving right in the stack itself so i will just simply apply a while loop on this okay smaller elements moving right keep on removing it until you have the condition that okay they are smaller in size with the one which is coming in left for you it is coming in left and for sure you know one thing the values of this particular is actually negative so please make sure that you take the absolute value of here so you will write absolute of asteroid of i because ultimately i'm concerned i know okay it is a negative one which is coming in by the direction but now i'm concerned about the sizes so please take the absolute value now coming okay and now we saw okay if both of them had if the, the one coming in left had the bigger size and the one which was uh, in the stack which means it was coming in the right has a smaller size but what if they both have same size now if they both have same size we saw in the question both will get collided so the while loop will not come in picture if they both have same size because if both have same size for sure both will get collided so no one will be there to actually make collision for the remaining part of the stack right so if both have the same size if both and again here it will be absolute if both have the same size please simply pop it and simply stop it so it will not be a while loop it will just simply be a if 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 loop now what if this coming in left has a smaller size if it is smaller size and if it is bigger size and if you already know that it is already in the stack if it is a bigger size it's a smaller size then simply simply you just remove this which means it was incoming in it was the asteroid of i you just removed it and it is already it was already in the stack it will still remain in the stack cool no worries so nothing you have to do as such or you can simply pop it and push it again but still no worries no effect as such on this particular element of the stack but lastly let's say if it was going in going in going in in the first case as we saw it was going in going in, going in, going in and what if it completely exhausted all the elements of stack which means ultimately what if the stack becomes empty again it came back to the first case 
that okay if the stack becomes empty and if the element is coming in as left simply push that element so for sure if it is coming in as, as left and the stack is empty simply push that element but what if the next element although we saw here the element which was the next to him which means it if asteroid was i was the incoming element and the element in the top of the stack was actually a element moving right so we just did the collision but if the element at the top of the stack was actually element moving left itself so for sure it will keep on going left so ultimately no collision so please again push this asteroid of i if the elements in top of the stack are actually moving left so if the stack top is actually negative which means stack top is actually moving left so please simply push this element because it's also a negative element which is it's also a element moving left simply push that element and by this you can simply make out the cases of when the collision will happen and when it, it will not and how the collision will affect the existing stack top and that's only simply the case you have to solve in, the, in these kind of problems quickly see the code uh, firstly we'll simply go on to entire vector from left to right right uh, simply as we go on we will simply say as we saw if it is empty even, even if it is moving left or right simply push it or if it is moving right then simply push it so if it is empty or if it is simply moving left or right or sorry, if it is empty or if it is actually a positive element, simply push that in the stack. Now, comes the part when actually this element is coming in as left, which means the asteroid of I is actually a negative element. For sure, we know I will keep on removing from the stack provided the element at the top of the stack is actually moving right and also its value is smaller than actually the incoming element which is moving left. So, if it is the case, I will simply remove elements by by loop. But, but, but. If they both have same size, so if they both have same size, then I'll simply do a if condition and remove the stack uh, pop. Like I'll simply remove the element of the top of the top of the stack, which means stack dot pop. But if I still have the element which is negative coming in and stack is empty, simply I'll just simply push it. Or if the stack top is already a negative, which means moving left then also simply push it because I can't simply pop anything out. So in this case, I simply pushed it out. Now we have all the elements of the, at the top of the stack, right? Because here we are moving from left to right, left to right. We are moving and we have pushed in the top of the stack. Now, as we will pop it out, which means as we will get the final elements after collision remaining. So what we will get is in the vector as from right to left, right? Because it is the first uh, last in first out so it, i'll just simply push in the elements like this but simply i again want in the same order from left to right so i'll simply have to reverse it down or maybe what i can do is i can simply push these elements which means the stack top i can push it at the last and then it is the second last and so on and so forth anyways you can do so here we just have all these stack elements pushed it in this kind of order last element at the last location this element at the last location this element at the last location by this moving at the from the last index onwards and by this simply getting the elements which are actually remaining after collision and simply returning that in the vector and the form of result you can simply use the vector also a dq also and a stack for sure but stack is more intuitive to actually solve it pop top uh, push that kind of concept right time and space both o of n because for sure you are using a stack stack space stack time simple linear stuff going on that is all uh, the code is on below i hope that you got this bye bye see that's that's actually very standard so please remember that the stack kind of thing is used and we have gone through why a stack is actually stack vector dq and thing you can use Good. bye bye